Good afternoon. I've been out uh, bailing some water that I need for the house. So that's what I've been doing for over an hour probably out here in the backyard out of the well. But as I was going back and forth bringing buckets into the house, I came up came upon a sight to see and I wanted to share that with you. So hopefully when I zoom in here you'll be able to see it. I don't think you can. He's right there. Maybe I'll have to move over closer to him. Okay. That's a little bit better. It's a prey mantis. I'm not too sure of their uh, cycle. Are they supposed to be just summer? I mean, here it is, you know. First, second, uh, well, first uh, week of November. And he's still alive compared to the cold nights we've been having. You know, down into the uh, upper 20s, 28, 29, to the low 30s. He seems to be healthy. And he's moved. He's uh, moved around this window quite a bit. Mostly in the sun. So maybe he soaks up the sun for <clears throat> the day you know like a snake does and then in the bo in the uh, nighttime his body releases the heat to keep him warm but yeah I figured I'd show you guys that of a prey mantis still alive November 5th it's the next day I forgot to vlog more last night but uh, I got busy researching um, what I'm doing in an un upcoming episode been busy with the furnace the furnace went out this morning um, I didn't know who we had last time to work on it my brother handled that so I waited for him to come home and we tore apart the furnace so he's off to go get a part for it and I'm just waiting I looked up on the internet of how to test for the ohms to make sure it was the igniter and it didn't show anything on the igniter uh, for resistance so I just wanted to see what the specs were of what uh, need to be on the ohm meter so we'll see if that works. If not, uh, we'll go from there. And I cleaned up the free pile out front yesterday. So that's all taken care of. No more free pile. And all the buckets were filled. And I haven't watered yet. So that's been my day between yesterday and today. So while the furnace is apart, if no one has ever seen inside one that's what it looks like you got your four burners down here the igniter goes in here that just the thermostat tells when to kick on the igniter and then your burners all the way back in there that's where your flame is and heats up your exchanger I know a little bit about furnaces but uh, that's about it so that's the inside of a furnace so an update on the furnace my brother has been to the furnace place twice now trying to buy an igniter and it's the wrong size or the wrong style the one that he just returned now it has a, a little groove on it that slips into 
um, a bracket into the furnace and it's too long so now he has to go around and find another uh, heating and cooling place to get another igniter that has a sh shorter uh, ceramic piece that fits into this groove so it doesn't slip out when it's running so it was the igniter that was wasn't working properly it had a crack in it and couldn't read the uh, ohms with an ohmmeter so that's fixed it's up and running checked it out at least I ran it through one cycle and uh, so I don't have to worry about you know losing heat through the night the lights working for now till it gets cold and then it shuts off again and then it uh, comes on during the day so I'm not gonna worry about that till whenever um, it did get down to 21 degrees last night which that's the coldest so far this year but uh, it'll get colder than that but 21 is uh, kinda chilly I'm glad you know I have an electric heater in my room so well we both have electric heaters uh, small ones and uh, it has a thermostat on it so it kicks on and off uh, I have mine set at 70 72 sometimes depends how cold it is it's an old house so you know, it feels like a breathe breeze in here at times so that was my day hopefully yours went better and I will talk with you tomorrow thanks for watching and if you're new uh, please subscribe I do have uh, some information coming out uh, if I get around to it tomorrow, maybe next day or two, I'll put out a decent segment of uh, something interesting. Stay tuned for that.